On Brazil's endless coast, there are more kite beaches than one could count. But some of those beaches have that perfect combination of ripping wind, a vibrant community, and breathtaking sunsets. Today, we are talking about the beaches of Praia and Jericoquara. My name is Crystal Vanessa. Welcome to Destinations. On our last episode of Destinations, we covered the Brazil Downwinder experience with Surf and Semfim. And after cruising down 200 kilometers of Brazil's coastline, we needed a break. So we settled into an eco lux beachfront bungalow at Rancho de Peixe where we could enjoy some laid back kite sessions on the ocean, perfect flat water in nearby lagoons, and the ultimate in Brazil relaxation. On today's episode, we are going to give you the lowdown on kiting in the Praia and Jericoquara area, and then we'll get into everything else you need to know before you go. Prime windy season in Brazil goes from about July until January, though there is potential for wind year-round. Outside of the prime season, though, you can expect less reliable wind and possibly some rain. When the wind blows here, it absolutely nukes, so I would bring your smallest kite sizes. You may find yourself experiencing a comfortable 60-knot day on the water or getting absolutely blown away in 35 to 40 knots of wind. Most of my time spent kiting here was on a 6 meter kite, though if you like the wind a bit lighter, you can catch a session while the wind is building and dropping in the mornings and evenings. Wind here blows pretty much until the sun goes down, so you can get as much time on the water as you want here in this part of Brazil. Weather in Brazil is hot and sunny. This is a proper beach holiday. You will be sitting pretty in beach clothes the entire time. The water is just as welcoming as the weather, so you can leave your wetsuits at home because the only thing you'll need here is as many bikinis or board shorts as you can fit in your suitcase and maybe a layer of protection for the sun. So let's talk about kite spots. As we discovered in the last episode of Destinations, the kite spots on the northeastern coast of Brazil are virtually limitless. But today we are based in the Praia area, so we will talk about some of the best kite spots in this area. Here in Praia, we stayed at Rancho de Peixe and they have a fully equipped kite center called Rancho de Kite. So this is ocean kiting with a big wide beachfront and the beach is divided into spots for independent riders and those that are doing their kite lessons. The wind here is absolutely lit and the water is ocean chop with some waves breaking near the beach. All along the beachfront in Prairie you can find your own little slice of water or beach to ride, even on a busy day. Closer to town there is less of a beachfront and some obstacles in the water like fishing boats and rocks, but just outside of Prairie you've got plenty of beach to get set up and go for a session. One of the favorite experiences of kiteboarders visiting this area is a downwinder from Praia to Jericoquara. And this is a downwinder that's suitable for basically every independent kiteboarder. You can downwind all the way to Jericoquara, but most riders choose to get out before they arrive in town. So the landing spot at the sand dune in Jerry is directly offshore and quite difficult for inexperienced riders to get to. If you want to take your time on this downwinder and explore and stop at different places along the way, you can organize a buggy to accompany you along the downwinder and bring you into town when you're finished. In Jericoquara itself, the only kite spot is that one by the sand dunes, which is completely offshore, quite gusty, and definitely not beginner friendly. So if you're based in Jerry and want to go kiting, you'll need to organize kite tours or buggies to get to the different kite spots. The Barra Grande Lagoon is a favorite for kiteboarders in this area and works best at low tide. So the butterfly conditions here are perfect for trick progression, and beginners will feel comfortable in this spot because it's shallow, easy to manage water. This lagoon is only about 15 minutes by buggy from Praia, and there is a kite center and restaurant on site, so you can spend the whole day there just kiting and chilling. Riding style in Brazil is primarily freestyle and wave, so the wind is so strong here that you won't see much foiling action except when the wind is building in the morning and dying in the evenings. You will definitely see some big air action here, especially when the wind is nuking on the beaches of Praia. So facilities, we stayed at Rancho de Peixe, which means we were able to kite from the awesome, fully equipped kite center at Rancho de Kite. And whether you're a guest of the hotel or not, you can still book lessons and training here at this kite center. They have a great team of instructors, support staff, compressors, bathroom, showers, and a shop just in case you left anything at home. Not to mention a beachfront restaurant, bar, and lounging place so you can take a break between your sessions. If you're kiting along the coast or in some of the secret spots or lagoons, you definitely want to bring what you need for the day with you. Some of these spots don't really have facilities, so unless you know you're kiting in front of a hotel or a kite center, you definitely want to be prepared. 
with so many different kite spots to ride here, they all have their own sets of caution, so we recommend checking with the local kite center to get the lay of the land before you get out on the water. Some things to consider in the lagoons, the tide level usually determines where it's safe to ride and throw a trick, so make sure you do a couple passes and maybe test the water depth before you decide to go for it. On the ocean side, most of the cautions will be visible, so fishing boats, rocks in the water, or buildings on the beach. If you're a less experienced kiteboarder going for an ocean session or downwinder, it may be worth going with an organized group that can keep an eye on you. Have you been kite surfing in this part of Brazil? We would love to hear about your favorite kite spot or your favorite story from your trip, so leave us a comment below. For more detailed information on all of these kite spots, you can click on the little eye in the corner of this video to get to the detailed Britain spot guide. Now, let's talk about everything else you need to know before you go. Brazil seems like a world away, but the effort it takes to get here is well worth the reward, which is getting to kite in an epic spot. Whether you're traveling as a group of kiteboarders or a family or mixed group, there is something for everyone to enjoy on this spot. So how to get here? The closest major airport to this area is Fortaleza, but that's still about a four and a half hour drive. There's also an airport in Jericoacoara, which is much closer, though it's a little harder to find good flights here. Regardless of where you're flying into, your hotel or accommodation should be able to help you organize an airport transfer, or you can book one online in advance. Once you're on the spot, you don't really need a vehicle, but if you're going to rent one, a 4x4 is essential because the roads here are mostly sand, and some sand driving skills wouldn't hurt as well. You really should be able to get by just fine without a vehicle. Just set aside some money for the buggies to get to the kite spots if you're staying in Jerry. If you're staying at Rancho de Pesci or their sister hotel in Jericocora, Villa Calango, they have several transfers between those facilities each day, which means that you can kite on the beaches in Praia and enjoy the nightlife in Jericocora. There are tons of options for accommodations here, so whether you're a kiteboarder that's flying solo or you're coming with a family or group, there's kite hostels, kite guest houses, and beautiful hotels on the beachfront. If you're traveling on your own and want to enjoy some nightlife, Jericocora is the place to be. But if you're coming with a group or family and want more of a laid-back vibe, Praia is definitely the spot you'll want to look into. Budget-wise, you could expect to spend anywhere from as little as 10 US dollars a night for a dorm bed in a hostel, up to two or three hundred dollars a night for a private bungalow for your family. Expect food and drink to cost more or less half of what it would for you to go out in the US, and this will depend, of course, on where you're going, if you're in a nicer hotel or if you're in one of the local spots in town. Food in Brazil is so good and so fresh, and you will be spoiled for choice when you're here. There's plenty to do in this part of Brazil, whether it's windy or not. Though to be fair, it's pretty much windy all the time. So, if your body needs a break from the wind, you have got plenty of options. Jericoacoara is well known for its after dark scene, so once you've finished up a sunset, you can go for a dinner in town and then go for a walk and see if you can find some live music or a show. There is plenty to do and see while you're here, but the best thing to do is just get here and see where the adventure takes you. A kiteboarding trip to Brazil is one that you won't forget quickly and one that you'll probably be planning on repeating as soon as possible. For more information on Praia and Jericoacoara, kiteboarding in these spots and traveling to them, click on the little eye in the corner or check out the description of this video for the link to the detailed spot guide. You can also leave us a comment here or reach out to us on social media and we will be sure to get back to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next destination. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time on Destinations.